my brothers and sisters today as we all know we are celebrating the feast of our lady of rosary there is a historical background for this feast this happened in 1569 when the ottoman empire who was colonizing most of the middle east and other countries and then converting into islamization is was taking place and there was it was in fact it's a islamic invasion to the europe and then the pope pius the 5th came to know the whole christianity is at stake now because the ottoman turks the empire is going to invade italy eventually rome the capital of catholic church will be under the custody control of turkish government ottoman empire and they were marching forward a mighty army marching forward to the europe especially to italy and slowly to conquer the whole europe it happened in 1569 and then pope pius knew he has to defend the church he has to defend the country and the defend the whole christianity and defend the church therefore he summoned all the christian country leaders nations and the kings and formed an army called holy league to defend the faith and defend the church and to defend the country but in comparison with the ottoman empire and their naval force this holy league was very small in number and uh, they have lots of privileges but the holy league was always already they were a small number in uh, they were in small number and they knew they are going to be defeated and pope pius the 5th knew this army is not sufficient to stop such a big army of ottoman empire then pope pius the 5th told all the all the parishes he announced as letter circular a bull to all the parishes and dioceses all over the world especially in europe and told all the parishes to have a rosary procession and in every family there should be holy rosary and there should be a rosary procession and everyone continuously go for chain holy rosaries and pray and then they did it and then as a result of these continuous holy rosary processes processions around the europe all over europe in all the parishes and all the dioceses even pope pius the 5th himself made a rosary procession around rome and conducted and prayed for the protection of the whole european countries the catholic faith and then as a result in 1571 when the holy league was marching forward and then there was around 5 hours of battle in that battle in the naval uh, for, uh, battle suddenly there was a strong wind in favor of the holy league which affected the ottoman empire very badly and they had a very terrible defeat and they after that for the centuries they never dared to come back to europe and as a result the catholic faith continued in europe and this victory is called and after this victory pope pius the 5th called this that day that is october 7th as the our lady of victory mother mary as the our lady of victory and told the whole church to celebrate this day as a feast of our lady of victory and later this feast changed the name into our lady of holy rosary so this is the background this battle is called battle of lepanto if you type battle of lepanto and the history you will come to know in fact because of the battle of the lepanto the europe is still europe like this otherwise it would have been a colony of turkish ottoman empire and islamization would have taken place already here so my dear brothers and sisters it is good to know the history and also it's good to thank the lord for all the good things the lord has done and today we are also in the battle battle against the evil forces not, not necessarily a bat an army coming from through the sea or through the air or through the land but a hidden army against the church through in the through in the social media in the uh, uh, you know proper mainstream media and many other media attack the catholic church in different ways and there is a hidden army of ottoman empire is fighting against the catholic faith therefore we need a holy league a new holy league and the weapon of this holy league is in our hand the holy rosary let us pray the holy rosary as the intercession of our lady in a special way and continue praying holy rosary possible chain holy rosaries and pray for the protection of the holy catholic church and then continue the holy rosary and you will see the miracles taking place you will see another victory of Bat- battle of lepanto in our own families in our own communities in our own nations therefore let us pray together this holy rosary and ask the intercession of our lady and say our lady please protect and be with us and intercede in front of your son to be with us and cover us in your mantle 